As you're aware, Alzheimer's disease in general is moving earlier in the disease. Alzheimer's disease is now an umbrella term that includes the prodromal phases of the disease, particularly with the advent of biomarkers that can define people at risk much earlier in the disease process. The same thing applies to neuropsychiatric symptoms. Uh, the Neuropsychiatric Symptom Professional Interest Area, the NPSPA, has also put together a checklist and diagnostic criteria for MBI, mild behavioral impairment. And that's the equivalent of mild cognitive impairment or vascular mild cognitive impairment, except we are not seeing the cognitive symptoms first. We're seeing the behavioral symptoms first. And time and time again, we've seen how important it is to identify these neuropsychiatric symptoms early. The million dollar question is, if you intervene with these neuropsychiatric symptoms, would it actually help delay progression to the disease? And we don't know the answer to those questions. I guess it depends how we intervene. Regardless, we know that neuropsychiatric symptoms are big predictors of decreased quality of life. So even if they're not going to change the trajectory of the disease, symptomatic treatments are still indicated so that the person can have the highest quality of life possible while they still have their cognitive abilities intact.